Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. Now that we save our Revit project and we understand how Revit backup works for an independent Revit file, so we can proceed to our levels. So when setting up a project, it's very important to set up first your levels because the grids is dependent on the levels you will understand about the levels depend uh, the grid lines being dependent on the levels once we go for the grid lines so for now we need to check which or how many levels we have for this project so I've opened up the AutoCAD file the original AutoCAD file that we have for this project I just need to or we just need to look for the levels that we need to create for our projects so currently we have the a lot of levels about one two three four five six level indicator or maybe this one is a mistake so we'll just count it as five levels so we have the first floor the second floor top of beam and roof level we'll just call this as roof level and the lowest one which is on the zero zero level will be the ground level okay so these are the levels that we need to create in our rabbit project now that we know how many levels we need to create we can go to our elevation view so these are our elevation view to create the levels levels you can find it under architecture datum panel level level is only created in elevations and sections you cannot create it using floor plan view okay so what we need to do is to create or to go to our elevation view either either one of this will do so we'll just have to click uh, maybe the south elevation double click the south elevation there you can see the level you can see that the level zero here is the same level zero that the floor plan is viewing as well as the ceiling plan view so this is the level zero referring to these floor plans and ceiling plan views this is the level one and this is the level one view of the floor plan uh, in the project browser and the ceiling plan so this is the level that is referring to okay so currently the level is distance at 4000 high from the zero elevation but we need to create some more levels aside from these two but first things first we need to rename our level so <coughs> I'll just rename the zero level as ground level oops it's up to you if you want to made it or create it as a all capital but I will just use the normal title text format so after renaming so you just have to enter there so Revit will prompt us about uh, renaming the corresponding views as I have mentioned earlier a level is corresponded with the views from the project browser if you say yes Revit will automatically rename these two views so what we can do we just have to select yes for this one and then Revit will rename it for us okay now we just have to rename this the second level which is the level one to first floor so first so how to rename select the level once select the level you just have to hover your mouse to the level one word and then edit the parameter then click the or type the type in the desired name that you wanted for this one so first floor since the project is, is from the Philippines so the level will be uh, named as floor in Singapore we use here the word story okay so first floor would you like to rename corresponding views yes there you go 
then we will change the elevations of the first floor level so what we can do is we just need to select the 4000 because the for the first floor uh, level which is at 4000 high is the one that we need to move so we we don't move using this which is the pick and drag because it's not accurate what we need is the accurate level uh, elevation so we have two options we can just use simply the parameter level or we can just use the listening dimension that we have here either way it's fine so we can use the 4000 here or the 4000 here okay so we we'll just have to go 4000 to the parameter and then I'll put the 300 so currently it's overlapping because of the scale so what we can do to view it more nicely while we, while we creating the levels we can just use the 25 1 is to 25 scale there you go so we have it just nice on the uh, on the distance from the text to the level so how to create new levels so creating new levels is from the we can use the tool from architecture data level as you can see before it's gray because we are in the floor plan view now that we are in the elevation view we have it uh, we, we have the command already for the levels so the command for the level is ll or double l or just simply click the icon from the level anything will do yep so there so creating levels is like creating just a simple line either above the level that you wanted to have or below the level that you want to have a reference with so either of the two is is fine so the first one that I will teach you is uh, while drawing the line so when you're drawing the line is you, as you can see it's looking to the other levels as well it's detecting the locations of the grips of the other levels so that you will create it more neat and more properly so don't create it anyhow like this here without the proper locking to the other levels so at least you will have the you will see the advantage it of the of locking the levels to the other levels so the it will move together with the other levels you will see it later so for now I'll just go for another level here above the first story level then or first floor level then I'll click the line I will lock again also here there you go so now that I have this level I'll just have to escape escape to cancel the command and I will correct the elevations of our level 2 so first floor is 300 the second floor is plus 28 or plus 2800 from the first floor so I can use this to specify the 2800 which is the listening dimension or I can just do the math from the 1360 to plus 300 so I'll just have to input the or sorry 2800 plus 300 so that would be uh, the level of our level 2 or second floor so I'll show you the two way how we can do this so I'll just click this level 2 and then for this one I will use the listening dimension so I'll specify 2800 so there you go we have it as like that or I'll undo first undo or I can just simply click this one I'll use this level I won't need to I cannot put 2800 here because nope. I need to add the 300 this value is always referencing to the zero elevation so it won't be uh, referring to the first floor unlike the listening dimension it is directly from the uh, level below the 
the level that you are uh, moving so for this one I will I cannot put two 2800 exactly here because it will be 2800 from the ground level what I can do is I can just simply put the equal symbol and then I'll put the 2800 plus the first floor which is 300 so as you can see we have the same result but different approach so it's up to you guys which one you choose okay so that should be the level so what if I have 37 story do I have to draw lines like that again and again up to until I finish it yes and no you can do it as like that by by uh, by putting lines or you can you can just use also the level again and then use the pick line and then you sp when you use the pick lines here you have some options above here so you have an options to make the plan view types with a structural plan floor plan and ceiling plan so I can just uncheck the structural plan because I need only the floor plan and ceiling plan so and then I click OK and then I can just simply specify the distance from level 2 which is 2600 up to the top of the beam then I can simply hover my mouse to this level 2 as a reference as you can see there is a line that is going out of from the level 2 which is this one be careful on this that you might have a mistake on clicking from to the bottom of the uh, level so make sure that the line that is showing is above the level that you are supposed to create so I'll just click the level 2 so if you have a typical elevation then you just have to click and click and click so it's much more easier so I have the 5700 here which is level 3 and then another 2550 for the roof level there you go so I have level 3 and level 4 which is this will be the top of the beam and this, this one will be the roof level so of course we need to rename our level so this one will be our second floor so same question we just have to say yes and then for level 3 it will be the top of beam yes and then our roof level yes okay so now there's always a question that can we copy the level um, yes of course but the question is is it right to copy the level so I would say that it is not right it and it is not wrong as well it depends on the purpose of what you are creating if you are creating a level that is really um, a true level or the level that are really the indicator of the elevation of it then it is wrong to copy the level but if you are uh, copying a level or you are creating a level that is a true level meaning indicator of the second floor and the first floor the roof beams and the roof level then it should be it shouldn't be the copy command you need uh, that you will need to use so but you can copy the, the level I'll show you how to copy a level so I'll just see, click the level that I want to copy and then I'll just command the copy or CO so CO then I can just simply click a base point or a reference point and then I'll click the second point there you go so I'll just click to an empty space to create or to deselect the element so as you can see it is in black color and the proper level is in blue color why is that so 
this level, I call it a dummy level. I personally call it as a dummy level. Dummy levels for me is those things that are really not referring to any levels in the elevations. Like for example, um, FCL, you want to uh, have an indications of the finish ceiling line or top of parapet. It's not really the level or the floor levels for the building but you need it for your elevation so or top of roof apex or maybe bottom of beam if you have a top of beam then you want to specify your bottom of beam so something like that so these are the the most commonly uh, areas or types of levels that you just need to copy the level so it is not wrong and it is not really the uh, correct it depends on your uh, preference of levels that you are doing alright so I just have to delete this level select and delete yep now that we have our level earlier I told you that when we lock the the level to the to our uh, edges or the endpoints of other levels it will be advantageous for us because when we select this level and I drag this endpoint here, every level will follow. So that's the good about it. So that we don't need to uh, one by one extend the levels. Okay, now that we have our all our levels up, we just need to uh, create our grid lines. So on the next part of this video, we will create our grid lines by inserting the AutoCAD first. So we will study first to insert the AutoCAD file in the Revit and then after that we will create a grid lines. Alright, see you guys on the next video. So if you like the content of our lecture series, please click the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button to follow our lecture series. Talk to you soon.